oh hello everyone um here with nala pod pumpkin or raven we just walk in like the bottom part of the opposite valley to us it's like not far from the house um so i've had good home bargains for some coal and logs so i figured i'd bring some dogs and walk so not on a big walk today with Debbie which is good because I'm not gonna lie I was quite tired and the dogs are pretty tired too um, so today's actually been a lot about pumpkin and raven um, I did a train session with them at home in the house doing tricks and that then I took them outside and then I just alternated them on the show lead trotting a triangle and up and down and I only did twice each which was enough for them oh, our pod's got like a cling on it's come out most of it has um, and yeah really positive you know they did the pattern had a treat had a first went off lead Swapped puppy, did the pattern, had a treat, had a fuss, went off lead. And that's how you begin training them for the show ring. And like, I'll acknowledge that I never did. I was way too casual about Nala and Pod, because don't forget, at the time, when they were this age, there were no shows. And I'm one of those people, like, I'm better with the target. So if I know that when they're six months old, they can go out showing, then I'll do some work. But there was just like, well, there were no, were no shows. And there was a question as to if or when there would be more shows. There wasn't a date in mind, even if it was three months away, there was no date. So, um, yeah. Funny exploring somewhere new, somewhere different. They almost look drunk because they don't really know where to go. They just want to wander and explore everywhere. This is quite good for pod like to learn to slow down because we had a good walk yesterday and he was with Aria, Nala and Jude and they obviously cover more ground quicker than Pumpkin and Ravenwell so he's got to just learn he's got to stick with us good for my foot to have a quieter day. I was tempted to go to the beach but it's like forecast showers and you don't really want to drive all the way down there and then it'd be sod's low rains when you're there and you'd be stuck then and you Here is very, very windy. 
see like the opposite side of there. Look at this where the farm is. I don't know what's going on into Nala and Pod, but they want to run big, and I know familiar enough for where we are to let them. So I think I'm going to have to put one on a lead. So I just come in a bit lower, my foot's served in. I feel the rain starting, so we're just going to slowly wander our way back to the car. It's been, uh, well, really naff walk, to be honest. I didn't put them back on a lead. Um, I just did a bit of, you know, sitting for a pretty picture. Kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, Nala and Park got in their heads to go for a run. So what I'll probably do is when I get back is get the quad out and they can have a run on that. Um, but yeah, I saw them, um, there's another post on one of the Dalmatian groups and it was like, um, you know, how much, all the breed information says they need a lot of walking. And their question was how much walking is a lot. And it's like, it doesn't really matter like all the long walks I'm doing with mine that's only going to make them fitter so they're going to want those more those long walks more often because they're fit and they're used to it so you know it's all in context whereas like I don't really do like Dudley and Disney do the odd long walk like that but they don't do it as often as the show dogs. So they don't expect it or need it to be happy. Um, you know, they're quite content playing tennis ball, cuddling in front of the fire afterwards. They don't need it. Um, Pod is super duper chill. But he comes out on a walk and he's excited. He loves walking. He loves exploring. Um, so yeah, like all I'm doing by doing the long walks is making them fitter and making them need the long walks. So yeah, and then the five minute per month of age rule. <sighs> that annoys me because everybody gets like, well, obsessed by it um, and yes that's a good rule to stick by but it's not it's not accurate like if my grandmother were to walk them for 25 minutes because they're five months old now these two or coming they nearly five months old yeah nearly five months old call them five months old so the distance she can walk in 25 minutes versus the distance I could walk in 25 minutes versus the distance someone fitter power walks everywhere could do in 25 minutes. They're all very, very different distances. And then when you think of that, like no wonder my grandmother's puppy, she hasn't got a puppy by the way, couldn't, is still very energetic because it's, it's not getting nowhere near the same amount as the others are getting. So it's all, 
you know, and then it also doesn't take into account the type of terrain that, you know, uphill, downhill, hard track, soft track, um, sandy, you know, it, it all puts different pressure on their joints. Uh, that is rude. No, you're not getting anything for jumping up. Nala's going to get one. Pod's going to get one. Yeah, Raven's going to go on. And now pumpkin then. Girl pumps. Um, you know, different terrains put different pressures on different joints. So, again, that doesn't take it into account. It's just so way too generalised. And then you get people who just go, ah, I never do that. And they way overwalk their puppy, no matter what ground it's on or how old it is. And then you get the people who stick to it religiously, but struggle like hell because their pups too energetic. And yeah, what you want to do is use they get them to use their brain as well, whether it's using their brain out here or in the house or both, ideally both. And that will tire them both mentally and physically. But I think it's way too complicated for the guidelines to be more specific than they already are. Because it would also go into the breed they are, probably male or female. How big they are, how big they're going to grow, um, all sorts of things, and it would be a very individualized plan to be more specific. So, yeah, complicated matter for when it comes to puppies and walking. At uh, pod, I don't know if they can get onto the street that way. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this here and head back to the car. I shall see you all soon. Bye.